We're going to talk about recovering deleted items in Outlook, but this is not what you think it's going to be. If we check my deleted items folder, you can see that I've currently emptied it. If I go into this YouTube demo folder, I've got an email message that I don't want. So I'm going to hover over it, get my little trash can, and throw it away. Now everybody knows that I could go to the deleted items folder, find that email message, and then just drag it and drop it back into the original folder to restore it. So if I go back to my folder, here it is. But that's not the kind of restore I'm talking about. I'm talking about the one where somebody goes in and deletes a message, then goes to the deleted items folder and deletes it again. And it says this will be permanently deleted. You say yes, and now the user thinks that there's no way to recover that message. But there actually is. If we go up to the folder ribbon, in the cleanup section, there's a button that says recover deleted items. Now you can initiate this from anywhere within Outlook, so I could be in some other folder and go up and initiate recover deleted items. But if you happen to be in the deleted items folder, there's also a link to this right here. So we'll go ahead and say recover deleted items. What you're seeing here is the recycle bin for the deleted items. Now in order to find a specific message, you could go up and click the headings like subject and sort this alphabetically by subject line. So either ascending or descending sort. You could sort it by when it was deleted, again, either ascending or descending, who it was from, or when it was received. So in my case, the message I just deleted, I can see that message right here. If I wish to recover that message, in the lower left-hand corner, you have the option to restore the selected item or purge the selected item. Obviously, if I choose restore selected item and hit OK, now I have that message back. Now it doesn't return to the folder from which it was originally deleted, it returns to the deleted items folder. And at that point, I could drag it and drop it back into the original folder. Now I'm going to delete it again, then go to deleted items and delete it a second time. I'll go into my deleted items recovery. Here's that message. If I needed to purge it, in other words, permanently delete it to where I as a user cannot recover it, I'll choose that message and set this to purge selected items. Click OK and then confirm the purge process. If I go back to recover deleted items, that message is no longer recoverable. So if you have somebody you suspect is deleting things, but they're computer savvy enough to know to go in and delete things from the deleted items folder, they may not be savvy enough to know about this second level, the recover deleted items. Now, if you're in the mood for a little spring cleaning, you can go in here and select messages in bulk with the traditional click shift click technique or the click control click technique to select non-adjacents then you could either restore or purge. If you wish to go in here and just clean everything out, maybe you're giving this computer to another person and you wanna make sure they can't recover anything, then go ahead and do a select all, choose purge, and then hit okay. I'm not going to do that on mine because who knows, I might need to recover one of these messages. So that's the recover deleted items feature on the folder ribbon. Thank you for watching and remember at BCTI, the learning never stops.